Hello, and welcome to the Bluegrass Sports Show, or... I'll be a show. We are two fat guys who talk <laughs> I'm Carl. And I'm Perry. The idiot, the animal. <laughs> <laughs> and today, we're coming at you with our top five NBA franchises of all time. Um, <laughs> there's probably going to be some controversy. I agree. <laughs> <Probably>. <laughs> but it's going to be fun. So, do you want to start or do you want me to start? Go ahead. Okay, my number five, I'm just doing number five, right? Yep. You're doing five and four? Okay, my number five, I've got the Golden State Warriors. <laughs> I really do have the Golden State Warriors. Now, I don't know how many titles they've won, but I do know the greatness of players they've had with Curry, Thompson, now Durant, uh, uh, my center, Wilt Chamberlain. <laughs> they've had a lot of, I don't have, do you know how many champions they've won? I do. How many that one? I ain't telling you yet. Well, he's going to have stats later, so we'll just wait on that. <laughs> he's our stats guy. I don't look him up. But, this, I mean, if you take out their recent run of success, I just I don't know if they make it. But with their recent run of success, I would give them the nod at number five. I also have the Golden State Warriors at number Good. five. Why didn't you just winners, say that and give me numbers? They are winners of five <laughs> NBA World okay. Championships, okay. one in the 40. One in the 40s, I think 47 or something like that. One in the 50s. They would one in the 70s. And then, of course, two of the last three. He mentioned Curry. He mentioned Durant. He mentioned Clay. He didn't mention Draymond. He didn't mention Draymond. (laughs) He mentioned Wilt. He didn't mention Rick Barry from the 70s. Of course, there's other. Great free throw shooter. He didn't mention Chris Mullen. He didn't mention Mitch Richmond. Right. I forgot about a bunch of guys. (laughs) Didn't mention Tim Hardaway. Didn't (laughs) mention Chris Webber. Didn't mention Latrell Sprewell. Didn't mention the Sweet. We Believe team with Baron Davis and Captain Jack and <laughs> Jason Richardson and yeah. all those guys, Michael Petrus. Yeah. They are the only team on my list with a losing record historically. They have won hey, 2,659 hey, wins, a 47% winning percentage. They've lost like 2,800, 2,900. Yeah. So the only team on my list with a losing winning percentage, like you said, without the most recent run of success, they're probably not on this. But – with their recent run of success, outside of the Lakers and Celtics, it's the most long tenured basis of winning championship success. Right. Five championships, so it's hard to find anybody can bet it. Right, right, right. Now my number four. This is where I have the Chicago Bulls. Me too. Six world titles, two thousand one hundred and fifty-six wins. They, along with the Spurs and the Warriors, two of the younger teams now, in the league, a fifty-two percent winning percentage. Whenever you talk all-time greats here, and I'm assuming you have the Bulls at four as well. Yes. Okay. You're obviously talking about the GOAT, Jordan. Steve Kerr. <laughs> but if you take out that era. You said Steve Kerr is not the GOAT? <laughs> That's what I said. You take out that era, and the Bulls are nowhere. Exactly. That's why. The reason why I have them at four and not five below the Warriors, I initially had them. Well, I, actually, I initially had them at five. They've won one more championship, title. Championship, yeah. I was giving the nod to the Warriors for more sustained success historically, right, right, right. but they had a lo- they had a less than 500 winning percentage. Well, the Bulls have a winning percentage, right. of course, above 50. percent So, put in Jordan, put in Pippen, put in Rodman here, put in Artis Gilmore there, put in Horace Grant over here. Yep. George Gervin even had a stint with the mm-hmm. Bulls. Great players historically. Derek Rose. Yep. Just I don't know if Dwayne Wade should be mentioned. <laughs> yes, he played one one year, two, one season. Yes, Jimmy Butler, Carlos Boozer, Joe yep. Kim Noah. So hey, I mean, just hate Noah. I about said hate Boozer. Ben, I like Boozer. Ben Gordon, Noah. Ben Gordon was awesome. Ben Gordon, was he tough. disappeared, just, but he was awesome. Was short. <laughs> so, I mean, yeah, I Kirk can, Heinrich, your boy, my boy. Kirk <laughs> the Bulls to me deserve to be on this spot. They won six. Titles out in eight years in the yeah. past. Just have to be their only six titles, but they deserve to be on the list. I agree. I agree. And I could easily see flip flopping them and moving the Bulls down to five and the Warriors at Once four. again, the only reason why I didn't was because of all time. The, win- yep, the winning percentage. Who you I got, get, who you got, I got three? You. At my number three, and this is where I think we will differ. At my number three, I've got the Spurs. Why would we differ? Because I could easily see them being higher. <laughs> <laughs> That's the only way. I could easily see them being higher. Now, if we're going the last 20, 30 years. They're, they're first. They're first. But all time, I've got them at number three. And I agree with that. I also have San Antonio okay. at number three. Five world titles, NBA, of course, 2,448 wins. 
the highest winning percentage on my team is 60%. Something on your that, list. On, well, yes, on my, team. on my team. I'm sorry. On my <laughs> list at 60%. What sets the Spurs apart here, and something I, I consider putting them at number two over my number two, and I'll get to that in just a moment. The reason right, why right, I didn't right. is because of total titles. Right. Whenever you look at the San Antonio Spurs, in the last 24 seasons, they've had 22 seasons where they won 50 or more games. Right. The only seasons that they did not was the year that David Robinson was hurt, and they ended up getting a number one pick, which turned out to be the greatest player in franchise <laughs> history, Tim Duncan, yep. and a and a a walkout shortened season in '99. Mm -hmm. So, whenever you put into perspective that, right. that's the only two, and they even you had another walkout shortened season back in 2012. And they still won 50 yeah, was that games. 2012? Yes, they went 50 and 16, still won 50 games. Right. <laughs> in a game where they, the season they only played 65 or 66 games. <laughs> so, out of that, 18 straight seasons where they won 50 or more games. Right. Sustained success. Mm -hmm. We preached it. We talked about it whenever we listed Greg Popovich as our greatest NBA yep. coach of all time. Five titles. The only reason why I didn't have them at number two over my number two, and this is where we get controversial. This is where I have the Boston Celtics. The only reason why I have them below the Boston Celtics is because the Celtics have 17 titles. And at some point, you have to value the fact that there's 12 more world champions. <laughs> yeah. And I completely right. understand that. That's what I'm saying. If you go the last 20, 20 so years, 30 years, they're, now they're Boston, number one. Now, Boston, 3,275 wins, a winning percentage of 58%. 17 Still world titles. High, yeah. And go back to Spurs, just some all-time great. We'll drop some names here. Tim Duncan, David Robson, yep. Tony Parker, Manny Ginobili, George Jervin, Dennis Rodman, mm -hmm. LaMarcus Aldridge now, Kawhi Leonard mm -hmm. now. <laughs> just, woof. I'm you're going to listen no more? Avery Johnson? Avery Johnson. <laughs> I mean, Sean Elliott. Yeah, Sean fantastic Elliott. Fantastic Same group there. I mean, just fantastic player. Now, Big Shot Bob. Vinny Del Nacro. Yep. Okay. Same group, too. Sean now, Elliott played small forward for that Now, team. with Boston, <laughs> you, you've got you've got the big three from the 80s. You've yeah, got obviously. you've got Pierce, McHale, and Parrish. you got Russell. Throw, his... throw in Dennis Johnson with that. Throw in Bill Walton with that. Of course, Danny Ainge. You've got Russell, Sam Jones, KC Jones, All Tom Heinsohn, yep. uh, John Havlicek. You've got <laughs> Dave Cowens. Just all-time yep. talent across the board, down the line. Pistol Pete Maravich, Paul Pierce, Ray Allen, right. Tim, uh, Tim Kevin Garnett, Kevin, Gar Kevin, Kevin Garnett, <laughs> Nick Tickett, Kevin Garnett, Ray John Rondo, Isaiah Thomas, yep. just the talent. Antoine Walker, phenomenal talent. Yes, all time with the Boston Celtics. I had them at number two, and some people's gonna be able to watch this. Well, obviously you're gonna have them number two within the Lakers, so the kids you got behind there, but. But I just spoke about this before we did the I video. I'll be more than happy to explain why. And I'm about to do it. Okay. Go, so, ahead, go ahead if you're number two. My number two is Boston. Okay. And that's why I looked at you like that and laughed because my number two is Boston. And the reason why is because you take out. He's not a Laker fan. Who? You. I'm not. I'm a Heat fan. <laughs> now, I'm a Shaq fan, but not a Lakers fan. Um, now, you take out Bill Russell's run with the Celtics, and this is why Celtics are number two on my list. It's the same reason why we had UCLA so low in our college. Right. It, it hurts their numbers, and this propels the Lakers forward. It's a massive it's a massive collection of success, but it's so long ago. Right. And just a completely different era different of the era, game yeah. to where so much of the talent, it was territorial based with the draft and everything else. So much of the talent was rather funneled there or funneled in the Midwest and some funneled out in the West. Right. So you have eight teams and you have nine Hall of Famers on your team alone. Right. You're going to win more than anybody exactly. else. It's just common sense. Right. So, and, and that's what you take out that. And I I'm mean, not holding it against them. It's Russell just, won, what, 11 championships? Yes. So that knocks their number down to six as a team with, for with the that, Celtics. Without him. Yeah. Without that run. That run, But yeah. you still have to give them credit for it. No, 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 I am. That's why they're number two on the list. I mean, being number two is not no slouch. Mm -hmm. Number two franchise ever. Uh, my my favorite team didn't even make the list, Miami. <laughs> so, I thought about them. Uh, well, about well, they them. had I, some good runs. I, but If not for the recent Golden State run, Miami was my five. Well, they could have been, yes. Uh, but that's what I'm saying. My team's not even remotely close. 
But it's close. the Celtics are just, close. I mean, to the Celtics. Oh, yes, to the Celtics. But you take out that era, and the Lakers are better. Even with that era, it's an argument. And that's what, but we're talking about easily who most people consider the two greatest franchises. Yes. Of all time is the Lakers and Celtics. And we'll go ahead and go on to number yeah, one. You have the obvious. Lakers. Yeah. Of course. Now, some people, and, and whenever I say some people, the bulk of these some people will be Boston fans. How can you put L.A. over Boston whenever whenever the all-time record between the two in the finals is 9-3? to mm. And which, that's what it is. Mm. For. It's 9-3. to three. Yeah. <laughs> If you take out the the Bill Russell era, yeah. of course, it is 3-2. to two. Right. So, and, and so, the 60s, they are what they are. The Celtics dominated the Lakers in the dominated. 60s. That's 50 to 60 years Celtics ago. Celtics dominated everybody. Exactly. It's 50 to 60 years ago. Yep. The NBA moved on. <laughs> the Lakers were the team of the decade in the 80s. The Los Angeles Lakers, 3,262 wins all time. For those who can or cannot do math at home, that is 13 less wins than the Boston Celtics of all time. But hold your horses there, folks. The <laughs> Lakers winning percentage is 1% higher, 59% over 58. The reason being, the Lakers have played as a franchise two less seasons in Boston and only has 13 less wins all time. Right. So if you put that into perspective, the overall basis of success, it's not that far apart. Right. As a matter of fact, it's pretty freaking even. So 16 titles, 17 titles. What sets the Lakers apart from the Celtics, in my opinion, you have, while the Celtics were the franchise in the 60s, the Lakers were still good. They were just right, beating right. the Lakers. Right. Okay? Yep. You go to the 80s, the Lakers were the franchise of the decade in the 80s. Turn off your ringer. Whoops. <laughs> Every time, man. The Lakers were the <laughs> franchise of the 80s. Mm-hmm. But the Celtics were still good, just the Lakers were building, right, beating right. the Celtics. Right. The difference is, where'd Boston go? Right. Boston essentially is irrelevant yep. for 20 years. For 20 years. In this standpoint, Still while put together the, the Lakers three. don't win titles in the 80s, or I apologize, in the, in, the, in the 90s, they're still good. They're still, yes. They're still good. Or at you least had, for part of the 90s. And then the early good. 2000s, the Lakers win three titles. Yep. They are, the Lakers or the Spurs, depending on who you want to give it to, was a team of the 2000s. Right. Now, Boston got lucky and, had, a, end, and, and had Kevin McHale in Minnesota and gave Kevin Garnett to... <laughs> To the Celtics right. at the end of his prime, they were lucky and got Ray Allen in the same deal, and they put together three Hall of Famers at the end of their prime, and they won one title and had like right. two or two to three years of decency with that team. They're good now, much better than the Lakers are now. Right. But the difference is Boston's not winning championships. Right. Boston's not even in the, in contention. They won one championship in going back what thirty years. Their last title with Bird was in nineteen eighty six. So thirty years. Ex- They've won one title. Well, 2007 well, 87. Yeah, exactly. So, and that was 21 years apart right. between titles. Mm-hmm. They've won two titles, in which you can go back from the 86 to. Exactly. Yep. And, and that's 30 the difference. Years. Right. That's, so, and you have the, the Lakers, difference. who's won five. Yep. And they've been to two other NBA finals in that. They could have won seven. Yep. Now, granted, Boston went to one other finals, but they got beat by the Lakers. Yep. So, to me, it goes back to sustained success. Success. <laughs> I give. I give. I'm so tired of saying that word because I never say it right. Whenever you look right. at Boston, you have to give them 100 props for what right, they accomplished. Right, right. But you also have to look at it in the realm of reality, and you can't look at somebody. Well, he's a Lakers fan. That's why he's saying the Lakers are better historically. <laughs> if you no. look at it with remote common sense, that will tell you the Lakers are better historically. Yeah. Now that, like I said, the Celtics are still number two. Yes. And it's very, it's very easy to see why you would put them above the Lakers, but it's also very easy to see why you'd put the Lakers above the Celtics. Larry Bird so. won three titles. Mm-hmm. Okay, so the Celtics have won four titles since Larry Bird was drafted. Right. So I, I think their last, they may have won one in the mid seventies. I can't remember. Going back to 1980, that's what I always like going back to because that was Bird and Magic's rookie year. Right. That's the modern era of the NBA, mm-hmm. okay? Because they changed the NBA. They saved the NBA in many ways. Right. 1980 to now, 
The Celtics have won four championships. Kobe's won five by himself. Right. Magic won five. Mm -hmm. So there's ten championships just in that run. Mm -hmm. Not to mention the six titles before that. Right. And that's what, when, I mean, I could easily see you comparing this run of the Lakers against Russell's run with the Celtics. Mm. I could. Mm -hmm. Um, No, because the Russell run, that was was 11 titles in a decade. You're talking about 10 titles for the Lakers in in, in a manager. Well, well, (laughs) essentially, essentially. But I'm saying one, one big stretch. That's what. It was one big stretch. Um, well, the stretch, the, Lakers, the stretch for the Lakers is much larger than the stretch. Right, right. You're going from 1980 up to 2010. That's but if we cut out years. the 90s completely, cut out the 90s, well, but we then the Lakers and the Celtics, But because neither one of them were relevant in the 90s. I mean, really. Oh, that's valid. Then you cut them out. They were both playoff teams in the 90s, but nothing more. Nothing, yeah, nothing big. But that's what I'm saying. It, it was a rough stretch for both of them. Mm-hmm. So just cut that out. And then you've got the 80s and 2000s for the Lakers against Russell's years with the Celtics. But then the rest, I think the Lakers win. As far as just how many wins and stuff they've got, they win over the I mean, rest it's hard of the time to, frame. It's hard to compare that one's better based on just championships because it's 16 and 17. I mean, yeah, yes, that's right. yes, Boston has one more championship, but that's as close that you could be to being tied and even as what, <laughs> as what you could be without being tied and even. <laughs> right. Whenever you look at all-time wins, Lakers two less years, only 13 less wins all-time. So, what? once again, what I put it down to, the bulk of Boston's success is 50, 60 years ago. Right. To where the Lakers... You're looking at titles here. You're looking at titles there. You're looking at titles here. So it's just, you're, like I said. And you also, on the Lakers, the 80s, the 2000s and on, right, they had a lot more competition to go through than what Russell's Celtics did back then. It's valid. So that's, it's, and something, I mean, it is what it is. Something we haven't done with the Lakers. Magic, Green, <laughs> Worth, Kobe, Shaq, Pau Gasol. <laughs> Eddie Big Jones, Shot Bob. Big Shot Bob, <laughs> Will Chamberlain, Jerry West, Gil Goodrich, Elgin Baylor, Derek Fisher. <laughs> I like Derek Fisher. Lon- Lonzo Ball. <laughs> no, he never won a championship. Fisher won five. That's true. <laughs> I mean, Lamar Odom, just yep. fantastic talent. Right, just and we never did it with Celtics, did we? Yeah, we did. Oh, we did? We did. Dang, I was asleep on that one. We did. We oh, yeah, we did, because I remember Big Ticket. Yeah. And Michael trying to say Tim Byron Duncan. Scott. <laughs> yeah. Jamal Wilkes. But that those two are, you have to give them the nods for best franchises all time. Uh, but the Celtics are coming. Celtics are coming. Y'all need to step up your games. Both mm-hmm. of them, because, I mean, not the Celtics, sorry, Spurs. Celtics and Lakers, y'all need to step up your games, because Spurs are coming. They're going to overtake you <laughs> if you keep doing terrible Mm-hmm. I mean, they're going to come. They're coming. Boys, they're here. All and right. That was fun. Finish yep. it. All right, guys. So if you liked that video, uh, like us. Give it a like. Hit that subscribe button. Share us with your friends. Like us on Facebook, Bluegrass Sports Show. Twitter, Bluegrass Sport 2. And we're probably coming to you uh, in the future with the draft, all-time drafts of these teams. Because we managed to once again have the same five. Yeah, somehow. <laughs> and and the, the same order. The same order. Again. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, that's, that's been fun. And I said literally before the video, this is going to be a lot of debate. No, we completely agree. No, we but. didn't We didn't debate for the most part. We agree. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, yeah. it's others that will debate. Too. Oh, yeah, definitely. But uh, I just meant between us. I didn't mm-hmm. think our list was going to be the same, but that works. Uh, but anyway, so you guys can look forward to that video if you'd like. Uh, I'm not sure when, you know, that'll happen. We would love to see some people comment if you want to see it happen, and then it may happen sooner. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye.